Hey guys, how's it going? Blood Mon 14 here. And we're back with some more uh, Yu Gi Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Um, let me just show my screen here real quick, just to show you guys what we did off screen. Uh, so yeah, we finally registered Bakura, and we actually got his deck recipe too. Uh, it didn't take too long, uh, so we're up to 16 duels against him. So, there we go. And so now, like I, like I had said in the last uh, episode with with da da ba da ba dee ba da uh, commentary, uh, <laughs> we're gonna move on now and uh, see if we can find the thief. So now we know there's Bakura right there. That's probably who we need to go to. Let's see, let's see if we can find Serenity. Okay, anyone else? All right. So last last episode, uh, we got a lead that the thief has blonde hair and Joey, uh, very uh, stupidly, if I may add, accused Mai of being the thief, and Mai kind of kind of ran off. Uh, so let's see if we can find any more promising leads. Let's go here. All right, who is this? S uh, excuse me, have you seen anyone suspicious around here? Yeah, we're looking for a thief. Yes, uh, I just saw a large man run by right in front of my eyes. Got it, thank you. Okay, I don't know if that was helpful or not. Oh, there's a building on the screen now. Flood, find anything? I met a person who saw a shady looking man. I see. Ah! Well, I don't know who's screaming. Uh, maybe it's Joey. <laughs> what if it was, though? That sounded like Joey. Oh. <laughs> okay. It sounded like it was coming from over there. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's funny. I was just joking, honestly. Oh, and listen to this music. Oh my god, I freaking love the music in this game. I mean, listen to that. Dig that beat, uh. Let's turn it up. Let's turn it up. All right, back to the commentary. Yeah, I, I lost. I wanted to get your prize back, Flood, but I failed. It's okay, Joey. Oh no, Joey. Joey. Yeah, guys, be careful. He's, he's not normal. His power. Joey. Ugh, yeah. It's my fault, Joey's hurt. Uh, I wouldn't say that, me. I'll... I'll give you his revenge. That's what I like to hear. Heck yeah. Flood. <laughs> How can an amateur like you get payback? Relax, Bones. We're working on a strategy here. In America. You think you can catch the former American champion, Bandit Keith, in America? I don't believe it. It's Bandit Keith in America. Yes, it is. Bandit Keith, the former U.S. champion? Ha! You're nothing but a rookie. You see, you see, Dwee, the game of Duel Monsters is all about putting your opponent off balance. Even a million of you put together couldn't put a scratch on me in America. Come on, attack in America. Alright guys, let's do it. And we find Bandit Keith Machine Mayhem. Ooh, I'm excited. In America. Alright, let's do it. And this is quite a tough duel to be completely honest, guys. Oh, and listen to this music. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I love this the music and everything at this part of the game. Uh, the, the wait was so worth it. Yeah, check it out. Mechanical Chaser, Basic Strong, 1850. <laughs> Excellent, in my Mechanical Chaser, America. Yeah, Bandit Keith ain't playing around, and neither should you. Now, if you have any trouble with this duel, of course, I advise that you, you know, 
go back and grind, do whatever you need to do. Um, gonna, I'm gonna set Robin Goblin. Uh, I don't think I need to set Ultimate Offering though, so. Yep, we'll just leave with Giant Germ and go with that. Ha! <laughs> I draw in America! I activate Graceful Charity! Ha! <laughs> Check this out, Dweeb. The Graceful Charity card lets me draw three and discard two. Now I use Tribute Doll and bring out my Ace Monster, Barrel Dragon! Ha! <laughs> my monster has three guns for three unique attacks. And if all three land on heads, your monster is vanquished! You got lucky this time, Dweeb, in America. All right. And yeah, we did get lucky that Giant Germ was not destroyed there. But that Barrel Dragon's gonna be hard to destroy. Let's see what we can do about it. Uh, for now, we can't really do much. So let's just, uh, maybe I should set Ultimate Offering just in case. In case I need to block a direct attack from this Barrel Dragon. Uh, X-Head Cannon. I have machines of my own, Keith. <gasps> oh, no. And this is one of his really better machines overall. Yeah, Blast Sphere. Check this out. So, yeah. When this card's attacked face down, it becomes an equip. And then, uh, during my next standby phase, my monster will blow up. And I'll receive the damage equal to its attack. Yikes. Hopefully the AI is stupid, though, and kills X-Head Cannon in battle. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, or he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use Barrel Dragon's effect. I kind of want you to get heads here. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's honestly going to save us some life points, guys. I mean, normally I wouldn't want my monster to be destroyed like that. But I would rather not take the effect damage from a Blaster there. Yes, and he's going to attack. Perfect. He didn't summon any other monsters, which means we get two more Giant Germ. This is going well. Uh, the main thing I need... I need something like United We Stand or something. Something to help me boost. Or I need Night Assailant, but I need it to survive Barrel Dragon. Honestly, if I drew Night Assailant at this point, I would probably set it with uh, Ultimate Offering just to be safe. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use Ultimate Offering. I'll use it for Sinister Serpent here just to have a little extra monster on the field here. Uh, let's set, yeah, Sinister Serpent. Go ahead. Ha! I set one card face down in America. Ooh, Jinzo. Hmm. Well, uh, let's see. I guess we'll just defend for now. Yeah, defend my life once, guys. Should I keep x head Cannon in my head? Hand? In my head? <laughs> no, yeah, I think I should keep it in my hand for now. Maybe he'll summon something weak and I can attack it. Ha! Kill my barrel, dragon! Fire your plasma discharge system! Heh, <laughs> joke's on you, Banneke. All it was was Sinister Serpent, so that card's gonna come back to my hand next turn. Ha! Now I'll equip my barrel dragon with Metal Morph in America! So, whenever my monster attacks, it gains points equal to half your monster's attack. Relax, Bones, we're working on a strategy here. Alright, and our defenses are gone, guys. Kinda scary. Uh, Barrel Dragon is a very good card. But, I think we'll be okay in the long run. Just gotta draw the right cards. Come on, guys, let's believe in the heart of the cards. Ooh! Ooh! I'm, I'm so glad I'm a believer, believer, aren't you guys? Check this out, Band of Keith. I activate Smashing Ground. Ha! It destroys the monster on your field with the highest defense. And I think that's your barrel, Dragon Bunny. Now, I'll use the effect of Ultimate Offering. Why? Well, because I have Robin Gowlin on the field, Keith. And you're wide open. Come forth, Sinister Serpent. Oh my god, this duel is so epic. Sinister Serpent's gonna attack your life points directly. Oh man. Yeah, say goodbye to your slot machine. No, you made me discard my slot machine in America. Alright, and now we have control of this duel, guys. So, hopefully he won't draw something like... Yeah, and he has medals of it, too. Hopefully he won't draw something like Monster Reborn, get himself back in it, but... Right now, we're looking good. 
I set one car face down and in my turn in America. <laughs> well, that's not going to be good enough, Manakee, because now I sacrifice Sinister Serpent to summon my own mighty machine monster, Jinzo. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, my monsters. Attack them directly. <gasps> Scapegoat. You really are a bandit, Keith. Did you steal that from Joey Wheeler? What the heck? This guy's wide open, has no cards in his hand. And he top decks Scapegoat? Hmm, I'm sensing a little hacking here, Keith. I'm sensing some hacking, some... You truly are a bandit. Yeah, this duel is pretty hard, guys. This duel is pretty hard, so... Now maybe you can kind of see the reason I did all the grinding. I mean, even despite doing all my grinding, like... He can very easily, like, still... He can come back, you know, right now. He's stalling this pretty good. And for a while there, you know, Barrel Dragon was basically dominating the duel, so... Yeah, hopefully you guys see with this duel, uh, the grinding, you know, for the infinite shadow game bonus, definitely justified, in my opinion. Alright, ooh, we got different dimension caps, perfect. Yeah, oh, that's Sinister Serpent? Okay, believe it or not, okay, first of all, let's use caps to get Pot of Greed out of my deck. Pot of Greed, where art thou? Agreed. There you are. All right, we'll get that in two turns. Uh, believe it or not, I will summon Sinister Serpent just to clear out a scapegoat, and and definitely be careful attacking into Keith's face downs. Uh, I'm actually gonna say an Exed Cannon as opposed to Jinzo. Just to, okay, okay. I, I I know your robotic knight's gonna survive, but I did that just in case, you know, just in case it's a blast sphere. You definitely don't want to send like your best monsters into the face down if you can. I mean, sometimes you only got one monster, so you gotta do what you gotta do, right? All right, you live another turn, Keith. Another turn. Serpent, take out his scapegoat. Oh man, this music is so epic. Man, I love this game. Ooh, that's a good card. That's a good card. Yeah, so Dark Factory of Mass Production, if you didn't know, gets you two normal monsters out of your graveyard and into your hand. Now, if he was smart, he probably would have taken Machine. Uh, he probably would have taken. Oh yeah, Shrink. He probably would have taken uh, Mechanical Chaser and Robotic Knight. That would have been smart, but... Yeah, because I doubt he'll get a Slot Machine out. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I draw another Shrink. That's good, honestly. In case he resummons something like Barrel Dragon. And though it is risky, I will summon Sinister Serpent again, just to take out the scapegoat. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Alright, Jinzo, attack his mechanical chaser. Cyber Energy Shockwave. Yeah. Alright. No! My mechanical chaser in America. <laughs> Alright, we'll take this out. All right, Bandit Keith, the next attack is coming from my x head cannon. Check out the power of my machines. Ah. You amateur, you think I'd really fall for a trap like that? <laughs> That's gotta be the poorest bluff I've ever seen in America. You can't defeat me. I summon Robotic Knight in America. Robotic Knight Artillery. Rapid fire! Alright, another big chunk of damage. But we should be okay here, guys. We should have this. Should have this. Alright. Got Foolish Berry. Sinister Serpent can come back. Alright. And now we should get Pot of Greed. Yeah, buddy. My capsule will shatter and I will get my Pot of Greed. Go! I'm able to draw two cards, Man of Keith. Ah, nice. Sinister Serpent. 
All right, well, we'll go with Spirit Reaper, just because. And we will attack. This should be game here, I think. If my math's right. Go, Jinzo! Cyber Energy Shack! Yeah, because that'll take him down to eight. There we go. And we'll use Sinister Serpent just to get a little more discard. Maybe we'll get the hand destruction bonus. There we go. Alright, yep. And this is the end of the duel, guys. Now, my slot machine in America! Exit Cannon, finish him off. Uh, I'm sorry the epic music has to end, guys, but that's it. We win. Da, 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 da. You win. All right. Well, yeah. We struggled a little bit there in the beginning because he got out Barrel Dragon right away. But, hey, thanks to the Heart of Cards, we were able to pull it out. Ah! Hey, you, Flood. Don't act like you know it all just because you beat me. I'm working on a strategy here in America. Give him back the prize you stole, Baden Keith. Now. Prize? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Try speaking American. It's the only language I understand. <laughs> I only duelled you because you challenged me in America. That's not funny, Baden Keith. Hand it over. <laughs> See ya, chumps. In America. I'm out of here. Wait. Bandit keep left. Joey, are you okay? Me? Yeah, you. I'm alright, except for my pounding headache. Yeah, thanks to you, Flood. No, thank you, Joey, for having my back. After all that, I didn't get my grand prize. Yeah, so... What the heck, right? Let's already return. All right, guys, and with that, so the stolen prize search comes up empty, basically. Hmm. So after all of that, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. And I have, at, yeah, after you complete this point, you can't go out at night. Yeah, stop going out because of slowness. Well, I, I, I don't know. What are we gonna do, guys? I mean. We found someone who had blonde hair, like the uh, like the tip said, but we didn't get our prize, so I don't know. I guess we'll just go to bed, and I don't know. I guess the prize is gone. Oh, well. It's morning. Yeah. Seto! Yugi called me. He said the thief escaped. <laughs> Jesus, Shizu. Why would I care? I knew he'd fail. But who has the gall to turn, tarnish my precious Kaiba Corp tournament? I'm going to use all of Kaiba Corp's resources to find the crook. No matter where he's hiding, he'll regret ever taking me on. Alright, I'd like to hear it, Seto. I'm coming in. What? Seto Kaiba? Hi! How's it going, buddy? Huh? I'm Seto freaking Kaiba, president of Kaiba Corp. Are you Flood, the, begin the winner of the Beginner's Cup? Uh, y y yes, sir! Your prize was stolen. Too bad. The thief escaped. I'm sure you're no happy camper. Um, what is this? That's why I'll give you Kaiba Corp's newest innovation. Upgrade parts for your dual disc. <laughs> you should be grateful. Use them to find the punk with your own hands. These upgrades detect powerful duels and point you in their locations. Heck yeah! I'll also give these parts other duels so that we can trap the thief in no time. <laughs> I have no doubt that the criminal is indeed a duelist. And only a high level duelist can pull off such a crime. Find him and beat him in a duel. Maybe then you'll get your pride back. Speaking of pride, my blue eyes calls to me. Good day. Okay, so interesting. So we got a upgrade part for our duelist now. Um, 
that's going to be the end of this episode here. Let me just say real quick. Uh, but, well, actually, let me show you real quick kind of what Kaiba's talking about. I'm not actually going to do any duels right now. But just to show you what he's talking about, upgrade parts, you may be like, well, what does that mean? So if we search here, yeah, you see now the uh, people on the map have stars. You know, there's one star, two star, three stars, and team four star. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, as you see now with the radar, um, and the stars indicate a person's dueling level. So one is usually the lowest, and like I think five is the highest. But yeah, now our um, duelist radar is upgraded. So thanks, Kaiba. Uh, but yeah, with that, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys for joining me. And yeah, hopefully with the upgrade parts, we can search for our prize. Alright guys, that's going to be it for me. I will see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.